back to Still on the Air. I'm David Pierce Anderson. Happy to be with you once again. And as always, Jackson Touchberry. Joining me to my right, Jackson. How you doing? Doing well. How you doing? I'm doing well. I'm a little tired, a little sore, a little cold. Hmm. But, you know, what's new with life? Not much in that case. Today is February 13th. That means tomorrow is February 14th. That's true. Yeah. The way that works is quite amazing. But some people, Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. Are you a Valentine's Day kind of guy? I could take it or leave it. Yeah. Um, most Valentine's Days, I've been single, so I really don't care. Right. Um, but when I'm not single, I, I do stuff, you know? Yeah. I am very indifferent towards it. I, uh, if I, if I, the baseline, I don't like it. I'm not a fan of Valentine's Day, but as we were mentioning in the hallway before, it's a good excuse to go out yeah. and, you know, enjoy relationships and love and life. Absolutely. But I think you should do that every day. Do it every day, guys. Not just tomorrow, but maybe do it tomorrow, too. I don't know. I want to make one note also. Uh, we were talking about Mike Birbiglia last week when we saw him live and his two great openers that we couldn't remember their names of. I threw one out there and I was wrong. Jacqueline Novak was the one uh, stand-up that we really enjoyed. And Chris Laker, Chris Laker was the other one. Um, so I checked them out. They're great. And, yeah. I could have sworn she was the first lady. <laughs> no. She was the first lady to go up on stage that night. That's true. Yep. First, first, first and last. First and only. Well, today we got a couple of non-sponsors for you. We actually have three, I think, eventually. Oh. But we're going to start off with our, our regular Funko non-sponsor, uh, as still on the air tradition. Um, today's non-sponsor is the Funko Pop Black Panther Bobblehead. Become the king with this ornately detailed figure featuring intricate line detailing that has a glorious texture on top of that metallic silver decor makes the figure pop and adds a regal texture to the king uh, the king's outfit this is a must-have for any and every fan and will make a majestic addition to all collections across the globe another bobblehead it's a good one coming out this friday bobbling yeah, yeah. or thursday i don't know maybe Thur thursday night yeah that, like that's opening night these days yeah who knows but I, I know uh, everyone I've been talking to, this is the, the weekend, that's, that's, that's where their sites are. I already got my tickets, you paid for tickets. and bought. When are you going to see it? Sunday uh, morning. Sunday morning. That's, that's the cheap ticket. You did the mm -hmm. smart thing. I plan on going Sunday also. I, uh, if not, I'll, I'll get to it later in the week. But I am excited. I think that it's going to be a good movie. Looking I think so. It. It's definitely going to be. Yeah. I got one more non-sponsor, and we'll get into some stories. Um, AWOL Nation, one of my favorite bands is uh, released their newest album, Here Come the Runts, on February 2nd. I just got it this weekend. And tonight they are opening their tour up in Detroit. And guess who's going? Is it you? I am going. I got my T-shirt over there and uh, looking forward to seeing them live. Fun fact, I actually was, we were going to see them live 2016, I think, and they canceled the tour the day before. <laughs> They, they came to Detroit. Did you get a refund? We got a refund, yeah, but it was very disheartening to wake up the morning of the concert to find out. That's the show. worst. It was brutal. I, I really can't describe it, but the excitement that you have for a concert, I, if, if you haven't had that excitement, it's, it's great, but it's, it's just so ready to go, and, and then the day of, nope, wait till 2018. Dang. That's all right. It's going to be a good show, guys. Yeah. Anyway. Hopefully it doesn't get canceled. <laughs> Don't say that. I'm blaming you if it does. Uh, I got a couple stories uh, I want to share right now. Uh, it's the time of the, the, the month and the show where we're going to showcase black excellence in honor of Black History Month. And today, today's feature will be featuring cowboys. It is a known fact that the majority of cowboys were, in fact, black. Many freed men and women before and after the Civil War were drawn to the freedom that the Wild West presented. Despite what movies may present, the frontier towns suffered from little segregation, and while there was disparages that African Americans would face, many found camaraderie with those that they worked with. But it gets even better. The man that the Lone Ranger is supposedly based on was a black man, Base Reeves. Reeves escaped slavery and journeyed to the West where he came to live in the Native American territory. His record is one of beauty, as he was known as a master disguise, was an expert marksman, and he had a companion who was a Native American. He rode a silver horse, and he became Deputy U.S. Marshal. Pretty impressive 
uh, resume right there. So that means that the next time a Lone Ranger movie gets made, Idris Elba should get the role. As long as it's not Johnny Depp again. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was something. What do, you, what do you think of cowboys in general, I guess? I, I was just saying, I think they get the coolest names. They do, yeah, Bass Reeves. That's an awesome That's name. A very good name, yeah. I'm trying to think, uh, I'm drawing a blank on all the other cowboy names, but um, Clint Eastwood's a great cowboy name. I don't know, they, there's something romantic about being able to destroy a town and not have any repercussions come of it. Yeah. In the spirit of Valentine's Day. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. In lighter news, Five-year-old Ypsilanti native Zaire Gunn, is that right, Justin? Zaire. Zaire Gunn received a standing ovation at the meeting of the Ypsilanti Community School Board. He recited the poem, Hey Black Child, which he memorized for Black History Month. I highly re recommend that everyone go find the YouTube video. It is very adorable and uh, quite inspiring to see uh, the new generation, what, what they're capable of, because, you know, what are we capable of? Look at him. He's such a, a cute little kid. Um, but yeah, I was uh, watched it right before the show, and uh, very adorable. It had a lot of energy going into it too. So I, I think everyone should go out and watch that video. Of him uh, reciting "Black Child." Hey, Black Child. If you can move the Ypsilanti school board, then that that kid's he he's got some merit, man. They are <laughs> tough. Uh, yeah, tough crowd. Tough crowd gets to crack. No, he's uh, um, yeah, he's got a bright future ahead of him for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. So we got a couple other things. I want um, to talk about last week we did the milk, the dairy alternative milk reviews. That's right. And we, uh, we did it in a very, I, I don't think anybody is drinking non-dairy milk that way. No, and they shouldn't. Right, as, as explained, yeah, as we showed. We learned. Yeah, just basic, unsweetened, original, out of the glass, don't do it. You're, you're not gonna gain anything from that. But over the weekend, I, I took the, the two I hadn't tried um, before, so pea milk and hemp milk, and I was putting them in my coffee, putting them in cereal, and I must say, I think hemp milk in cereal is fantastic. Pea milk in coffee, not much beats it. Wow. I really think those two, they're going places. I think those are the two best ones we tried also, if right. I remember correctly. Yeah, and I know we, we dispersed a couple and we couldn't, we begged people to take uh, some of the coconut milk home, and uh, I don't know uh, whose hands that ended up getting in, but uh, I, what, what were your thoughts? What were your final thoughts on all those different milks? Final thoughts, um, I'm sticking to regular milk. <laughs> uh, pea milk was like definitely the best one. Um, I can I can definitely see that going well in coffee, yeah. but still, it's expensive. You, you get more of it, but it's, it's, it's an expensive alternative. If you don't have to, Right. If you don't have to do it, don't do it. But I, I would recommend. I think it's a, it's a nice thing to try and see what other people are going through. It's definitely a cool thing to say that you tried pea milk. Yeah. You know? um, I've had pea protein also before, and that's pretty good. I think that's the best protein I've ever had. It's like a, your po protein powder. That's right. You were saying yeah. that. That's pretty good. Because I, I had forgotten. I didn't know what the taste of pea tasted like. But, um, but it's not bad. I recommend trying it. It's so, it's thick. You can quote him on that. Yeah. <laughs> Please I, do. I don't know what pee tastes like. Um, big news for me personally. Okay. Jerry Seinfeld went on Ellen DeGeneres. Uh, it might have been yesterday or, or in the past couple days. She asked him about rebooting the show. And he said, maybe. There's a possibility that they might reboot Seinfeld. They're going to have to do a lot more work on those episodes because isn't like the thing that most of the plots could be solved with cell phones? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, but I think they're so ridiculous and so abstract that they're going to be able to do oh, some good it, things. Oh, it doesn't like, um, well, what is it? Uh, it was like a spiritual successor on HBO, uh, Larry. La uh, Larry David. Yeah. yeah. Curb Your Enthusiasm? Yes, Curb yeah. Your Enthusiasm. I think that's very similar, and I think they yeah. manage it so. They'll I'd be excited. They'll do well. I'm looking forward to it. I hope, I hope they end up doing it. I might actually watch it this time. Hey, you should watch the old one anyways. We're going to have a good show for you. We have Justin Stovall. He, he stepped out from the control room, and we're going to talk to him about ETV and a few other things. So don't go anywhere. We will be right back on Still on the Air. So I tried logging into my .emich account, and it wouldn't let me in. 
So I went down to the help desk and they said I had already changed my password. Uh, no I didn't. Shortly after that, my apartment was broken into. Yeah, if you put two and two together, you know where they go. My address. Uh-huh. They got my password, got onto my .emish account, and stole my class schedule and my home address. They knew when I wasn't going to be home. I should have known that a password of ABCD1234 isn't too hard to guess. Now, I'm more careful about choosing a password. I take a word that's 8 to 10 letters long, that isn't too personal to me, and I change some characters around. For example, the word college. C-O-L-L-E-G-E. -L -L -E -E. I can change the L's to 7's and the E's to question marks. Don't use college, okay? You have passwords for a reason. Take the time to make one that is unique and easy for you to remember, yet hard for someone else to figure out. My name is Daniel, and I'm trying to be safe. In today's cyber world, the number of passwords you have to remember can be overwhelming. While it may be tempting to reuse the same passwords, or store them in a not so safe place. In doing so, you're putting your online accounts and data in danger of being compromised. The Eagle Security Package includes LastPass, an encrypted online password vault that can store all your usernames, passwords, and other personal information in one location. LastPass secures your login credentials using one master password, the last password you'll have to remember. Not only does LastPass store your login credentials, but it can automatically fill them in when you're logging into trusted websites. LastPass can also aid in the creation of strong, unique passwords and secure sensitive data such as addresses, credit cards, and personal notes. Since LastPass is encrypted and protected in the cloud, it's accessible wherever you are, through the LastPass website, a web browser extension, or the mobile app. LastPass makes password security easy. For more information about LastPass, visit tiny.emich.edu forward slash LastPass. Welcome back to the show, still on the air. I'm David Pierce Sanderson. We have Justin Stovall with us. Justin, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing all right. It's yeah. always good to be good to be alive and well, you know. I thought you were gonna say good to be here. I'm always here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm always here. Well, it's good to mention. I appreciate you, you know, coming down from the the high echelons of My ETV. Ivory tower. Coming to <laughs> bumping oh, yeah. elbows with us regulars. You know, everybody's gotta come out of their cave sometime. Right. So I figured it was time to crawl out of mine. And Appreciate you taking see off how the crown. Y'all are doing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually I have a uh, crown that's about a foot or so tall. You really would have messed with the lights. It would have wreaked havoc with the yeah. whole set. But you're looking good. As I was Thank you. saying earlier, it looks like you're going to oh, go yeah. golfing on Easter Sunday. Or oh something. yeah. Um, had to bust out the uh, the pastels. Well, yeah, and it looks good. Yeah. And you're one, you're, you're sneakily dressed well. Because one day, <laughs> I think like, yesterday was joggers, yeah. I think a hoodie, um, and boom, like you hit us with this today. You, oh, yeah. You keep us on your toes. Oh, yeah. Got to keep it. Got to keep mm -hmm. it moving every day. Yeah. Every day. I'm impressed. And, I, <laughs> and you, uh, of course, director and producer of this fine show, if I do say so. And if, we, if, you, if you didn't believe me, look at the mug he's got. That's, that's proof. Yes. A director still on the air mug. Uh, we actually, I think uh, Jackson got a one, I got myself yep, one. We all got our yeah. mugs. So, sporting the show wherever we go. Always. Yes, for sure. But uh, talk to us a little bit about, um, you know, what you've been up to, you know, I guess directing the show. What what have you seen the growth with uh, Still on the Air, I guess? Well, um, a year in now. You guys don't listen to me as much as you used to. <laughs> That's accurate. <laughs> We've insulted you a lot more on You air. insult yeah. me way more. Um, which I, I, I'm getting my revenge in, yeah. most definitely. That's why I came out here. But, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> but no, we've really, we've, uh, we've gotten it down to almost the science. Um, the way our stories unfold, the way we've got our segments lined up, uh, the way that we have our graphics set up, the way we have our um, transitions, mm -hmm. the different uh, breaks we use, we've cut down immensely on the amount of PSAs we're using yeah. because we can do our set changes right. in shorter amounts of time. Is there is this the vision that you had when you took over? Um, Something along those lines? Is yeah, it close? yeah, this is much closer than what we started out with. Um, I recently went back and watched some of the God bless you. <laughs> first <laughs> episodes we did. And we've, we've come a long way. Yeah. Um, we've, we're not changing the set every week. Um, we have some consistency in that regard we uh we're not just throwing everything to the wall seeing what's going to stick we ha we have a uh we have a flow that we stick to and it works i agree 
Yeah, yeah. I think Jackson agrees too. I'm over here nodding. Yeah. <laughs> it's usually oh, what I camera. do. Yeah, well. And I, I try to get the camera shots to get you in as much as possible, but some weeks it just doesn't. Yeah. The, the interviews are always so snappy. Yeah. If I get a word in, then we're like completely derailed. It's a mess. Well, my favorite was um, we were talking with Hondo a couple weeks ago about nothing to see here. Mm. Yeah. And it was the last question, and you, you kind of went like that. I said, Jackson, what did you have to say? He said, excellent. <laughs> 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 and uh, so, yeah, I, yeah. I agree. But I think uh, you, you've been doing a fine job, Jackson. Yeah, he's been, uh, he's been great on air with me. Yeah. I think we made the right choice. <laughs> I love an on-air progress report. Yeah. All right. You I mean, are. it's great. We we have to be transparent with the people that watch us. And, and what's more transparent than an on-air audit, you know? <laughs> exactly. You can't get more real than that. Well, maybe. Uh, closed maybe doors, I think bit. you can get kind of real and you don't have I'll to I'll start about yelling it. at yeah, people. Exactly. Uh, you don't want to blow the mic out. So, plans for the future with the show. I, I don't even know what you want to do. Jeez. Um, I know last semester we had a couple of musical performances. I'd like to do more of those. I'd like to get those more consistent. Yeah. Um, Definitely. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm pushing um, for. I mean, I think we've got one lined up. Uh, yeah. Soon. Yep. Yeah. Um, no spoilers yet, but keep it Oh, watching. God, no. We would <laughs> never want to reveal our secrets. No. <laughs> then anybody could do this show. Right. And we don't want that. Like people named Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon. Oh, that guy. I tell you. Love that one. I, t I do, yeah. too. Um, I'm more of a Colbert guy myself. Well, I'm more of a Conan guy. Um, but that's I can just see the that. height. Yeah, the height in the hair. <laughs> um, but so you mentioned music. I yeah. know we've got a few running gags and segments yep. that were, I think we, we've got a few that we've tested out on the show that we can eventually progress on. But I know we've yep. talked in the past about uh, doing some more. Yeah, we, we've got some stuff cooking, so mm -hmm. you guys don't, don't worry about it, Will. You'll see some uh, some new stuff coming out pretty soon here. Yeah. Oh, and uh, before I forget, That's we right. have our next non-sponsor. It is the other Funko Pop uh, Black Panther bobblehead. This one in his tribal garb, um, highly detailed with a gold paint job. And I love the uh, matte purple paint they did on the mask. Absolutely gorgeous figure. The uh, silver teeth. Just, just a great figure that Funko put out. Mm. I came over, over here with this guy in the horse's mouth. We've loved uh, your reviews, and yeah, I I, I, I've tried. I think he's having some trouble heavy. there. It's gonna fall down. I will, I'll, I'd like to take, get a look at that one. Go ahead, yeah. yeah. Be my guest. <laughs> we were um, the, in, in terms of Funkos. How many do you have? Because you, you keep coming <laughs> oh. out two or three every. <laughs> Every week. I've got 53 Funkos. We're set for a while. Yeah. We're all right. We're as long as I'm here, we're, we're going to have, have a Funko. Right. Yeah, I think we'll have like four left over by the time you graduate. Yeah. Oh my God, 50. Did we go through all yours? No, I, I, right, because that's my point is that I've had some collections get out of hand. Yeah. And I'm not letting Funko get out of hand. It's hard. I got my first two Funkos for free. See, that's, it was that's a trap. trap. That's how they get yeah. you. It was a trap. Well, I got my first Funko was four of them. So my, oh, the first okay. time I got, I got the Beatles. All and that's a full and, set, so. Well, technically not. They had the Blue Meanie. It was the oh. Yellow Submarine set. So I didn't actually get all of that set, but gotcha. uh, I got all the Beatles. And then I think I there are four more that we haven't done a mine on. Well, my I'm mistake sure. was that the first two I got were Captain America and Iron Man. And so once you have those two, you got to get at least four others to make your Avengers. Yeah. Right. And then once you have your Avengers, you got to have a Justice League that can match the Avengers. Right. And then at that point, you're just getting whatever you want. Yeah. So. And you know, with the Captain America, you got to get Winter Soldier. You got to get yep. the comic book edition. You yep. I, I think I got my Avengers to split them by the Civil War teams. Yeah. So. That's yeah. that's impressive. I try. Are there any on your Outlook coming up? Oh, they've got, um, Marvel's got some new uh, variants that look pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And there's some Teen Titans Go ones, variants they're putting out. So yes. we'll, we'll keep them, uh, we'll, we'll keep, them keep an eye out. Yeah. Any new ones you get, we'll have them on. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Well, Justin, we're going to talk a little bit more uh, after the break. We'll be right back. Age of compromised accounts and data breaches. 
Having a strong password is not enough to keep you and your personal information safe. Someone who steals your password could gain access to all your data with nothing to stop them. The Eagle Security Package offers Duo, a tool that provides an additional layer of security to your online accounts through two-factor authentication. This means Duo not only uses something you know, your password, but also something you have access to, such as your mobile device. Duo's two-factor authentication gives you the power to keep your data safe, even if your password is lost. Once Duo is set up, you can access protected sites with your login credentials like you normally would, but it will now be preceded by a message sent to your mobile device prompting you to accept or deny the login. If it's you who logged in, hit the green button to accept it, but if it's not you, hit the red button to deny it. By doing so, this extra step will take a forefront stance at protecting your online accounts from being compromised or breached, and you'll know right away if an attempt was made. For more information about Duo, please visit tiny.image.edu forward slash duo. Yeah. Welcome back to Still on the Air, Justin <laughs> Stovall, Jackson Touchberry. We're here to give you more quality television. Oh yeah, um, most definitely. Justin, we've been uh, working on something new that ETV has not seen before. Yep. Give us a little bit of rundown of what so, we've been up to. I hate myself. <laughs> And so on top of this show, producing, directing, writing, I've decided to take on another show. Not to mention you're president of... And I'm ETV. the president of ETV. So on top of all that, I've started a new show. I'm producing, writing, and directing it. And and another one, I'm starring in it. Yeah. Um, but it's not just a show. But it's like not just a talk show. It's not a news show or a sports show. We've done all those before. They're this, boring. Yeah, at this point. <laughs> but I mean, keep watching this. If you're if you're watching, but um, this is a single cam sitcom that um, I will be producing, uh, and I think we uh, have a clip to show the people, Ooh. give them a tease of what's to come in the future. Yeah. We got a clip, um, and you want to set it up real quick. Uh, um, give us a little right, bit so, more about the show. Um, I become the president of the university while I'm in all of my roles that I am. And you in, you in wrote this right? And I wrote this based on a conversation that we had in the yeah. hallway. Well, I mean, just you becoming president of the university sounds like something you'd write. I mean, yeah. Who wouldn't? Who right. wouldn't? And Keep so going. I get into hijinks and hilarity because of conflicts of interest and just an overall ineptitude mm -hmm. of running a school as a student at that same school. So this clip is a pretty good so representation. This, this clip is a representation of how the series is going to progress. All right. Well, if we got that queued up, I think uh, we'll see uh, the clip from Mr. President. So, I guess this means war. Why are you in here? You have your own office. Because I like it in here, Jackson. <laughs> Got some familiar faces yeah. in there too. Um, Talk yep. to us a little bit about uh, what we saw there. I mean, in so terms of what we saw character. there was an exaggeration of everyone's actual personality. Um, that's the way I was writing the characters for the show because we're not professional actors, but um, we can uh, we can try to put out the best material that we can. And so I just exaggerate everyone's character. Jackson's playing our straight man. Dave is playing an egotist. What are you talking about? <laughs> um, and so um, that scene that you saw right there is um, we're starting to see the lines divide in the sand. We're starting to see um, where everybody's standing, who's yeah. repping who. And right. Uh, Jackson, I want to ask you about your character. How do you feel about yours? Because I got a little something to say about mine. So let's, oh, hear, let's hear about um, what do you think yeah. of your character? Uh, it's been fun. Yeah. Um, yeah, not not <laughs> especially different. Right, um, you feel pretty well connected to your own character. In the yeah, movie. I would say yeah. so. Yeah. I mean, I think I'm less angry in real life. Exaggerations. Yeah. Exaggerations. So I just want to know, <laughs> on my end. Yeah. I fix my hair a lot. That's yes, fun. you do. <laughs> but you know, this doesn't come on accident. Yeah. Um, however, 
I seem quite stupid in the face. <laughs> <laughs> And I don't know about that, but I, I don't think I, I'm kind of smart. It didn't start out as you being stupid. Um, it started out as you being oblivious. <laughs> That's fair. Um, but as I was writing it, I was like, stupid is funnier. So we made you stupid. Well, I'm such a great actor that I'm able to portray it perfectly. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. That's uh, what it is. That's what that is. Um, um, I've, I enjoy the character. You, you, you can't blame it all on him. A lot of the scenes you've done have been improvised. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Come, well, um, it just comes naturally then. <laughs> um, we have improvised a lot of it. Uh, but I, I tried to write it so that nobody would be offended mm -hmm. by portraying a role. By no means um, am I. I think, it's, I think it's great. I think it's going to be real funny. Very yeah. good. Talk to us a little bit about, um, about production. How is that coming along? So production is coming along. Um, I've actually been decently uh, surprised, you know, given this is our first shot. Right. We've gotten some pretty good uh, recording days done. Yeah. And I'm happy with how it's turned out. Uh, I've, I was in the editing bay with Matt, uh, and we've got a couple of scenes edited, and it's shaping up to look pretty, pretty good. I think so too. I saw. I mean, the one clip we just saw, and then uh, we've taken yep. a look at another one. I think there's a lot of potential there. And yeah. Even just reading the script, I think it's gonna be good stuff. Yep. When do you think we're gonna see the first episode? Mr. President is the name, right? Mr. President yep. is the name of the show. The first episode is called The Quickening. Quickening. And the ep first episode will be up in March. Up March. Okay. And um, we'll get a we'll get posters up Sweet. and flyers. We'll advertise it online and on our social media. Where's that at? Um, at ETV at EMU. <laughs> uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll get the word out to anybody, everyone because this, honestly, um, I'm very excited about yeah. this show. Because we've never done anything we've like this. We've never done anything we, I don't like even this. think we've tried to do anything like um, this. But maybe there was no, like the there, rumors of doing a uh, sitcom. There, there have been plans for it. There's been talk about it. But I don't think we've ever gotten to the stage that we're at now where we've got multiple scripts done, shots for multiple episodes done, so we're we're moving along. And it's coming together. Like it really I is. was not expecting to be able to have <laughs> clips already yeah. ready to go, but I guess yep. it's been two or three weeks of uh, sh shooting uh, and it's coming together nicely. It it really is and like I said, I'm very happy with it. Uh, we've got a great yeah. great group of people working on it. Um, great AD, great director of photography, just in the cast, yeah. phenomenal. Well, we gotta give you credit because you, you're putting it all together, <laughs> as always, and you signed my paychecks. <laughs> oh yeah, most. Definitely. Wait, you get paychecks? Hey, that's all right. We're gonna take a quick break <laughs> after after this. We'll say goodbye to you. Yeah, I'm still on the air. We are trying. Thanks for tuning in to another episode. I'm still on the air. We're going to have a, another show next week for you. And um, we're, we thank you for coming by. Justin Stovall was on the show this week. He's usually in the control room. But uh, director, producer, he came out to talk a little bit about ETV and Mr. President, the sitcom that will be dropping in March. Uh, and it will be dropping uh, faster than we dropped on the one final shot. <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining us on Still on the Air. Check us out on all of our social media at ETV at EMU. This is Justin Soval. This is Jackson Touchberry. I'm David Pierce Anderson. As always, it's been a pleasure.